Alright, we're eastbound and down. We're loaded up and trucking. Diesel truck hauling the electric semi and... Okay, I didn't miss my turn. It's coming up. We're on Highway Freedom 64. Bringing boss man a new semi for his warehouse business. Sounds like he wants to test one of these out. See how they do. Do like kind of local deliveries versus on the road long haul trucking. And geez, he's already got a fleet of semis. Swing in here. Turn on the old engine brake. Yes, sir. Swing wide. I just knocked over his potted plant there. That's not good. Geez, it is busy, busy, busy in here. I will just park over here because I don't need to back to any loading bays. This is crazy. He's got so many semis out front. There's a bunch of workers running around. And we got it delivered. I'll let Boss Moon deal with that. Let's jump up here, see what he's got going on. Oh, he's already in the forklift this morning. Good morning, boss man. Good morning. Don't you know to let me know if you're gonna walk behind me like that? Hey, you need one of those beepers on there. You own the warehouse. You don't need all that safety stuff. Okay, okay. Well, welcome, welcome. Thank you for, I'm assuming you, you brought down Sam. Is that what I saw? Yes, Tesla's here. You said you got some work for me. We'll see how much I want to work. Man, there's tons of work. You'll get paid well. I, I know you'll want to do it. So the main thing I need you to do today is just delivering this semi to Steve's shop, actually. So I was like, okay, perfect. If you don't mind, could you help me load up this semi? We just got to get a few pallets in here. Okay, 10-4. I got you. I'll give you a hand. Hey, 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 that, that is mine. Move you or lose it. The one. No, man, that, that is mine. You Are you the boss? No, you should treat technically your employees the best, even though I'm not your employee. I think that are the forklifts much better suited for you. We'll see about that. You literally have it on one fork. I'm forklift operator certified. Yes, certified of being bad at this. Can you drive these back here without breaking it? Man, obviously I can. Why do you think I bought this place? You think I don't know how to operate it? Keep it coming. I'll show you. I reverse in here. Pull a Yui. Oh, whip also, it in. also, also, if you do a good job today, I, I may have uh, gotten, I don't have it yet. But I will be getting a new boat. And if you want to go to the lake, that could be your payment for the day. Nice boat ride. Okay, fair enough. That doesn't make too much sense. But yes, I will do that. What, I just got to deliver the red truck and then help you load this and we can go go on a boat ride? Yep, yeah, that should be good. Look at that, boss man. Two and one. I'm quick. Oh, jeez, man. Okay, okay. Oh, man, actually, you, you, okay, I need you to go. That trailer needs to get delivered. Oh, it is a 30 minute drive and uh, it needs to be done in 20 minutes. So okay. have fun. All right. Talk to you later. All right. So Bossman said he wanted the biggest trucks out of any trucking company. And I think he did just that. These things are like mountain haulers, off road, heavy haulers. I don't know what even these are, but they're crazy big. But it sounds like this goes down to Steve's. It looked like a bunch of frames for vehicles and different project car parts, stuff like that. So pretty cool. Let's head down there. Rolling coal. All right, we made it, and just in time. They had a deadline, and I guess there was going to be... Bossman was going to have to pay an extra fee if he didn't deliver it in a certain amount of time. So, good we got here. All right, we'll get these unstrapped. Looks like three frames. Dang, those are pretty awesome. All right, I got the first two off here. Help from some of the guys in the shop here. Oh, I'm getting a call. Bossman, what's going on? Hey, uh, how's that delivery going? I'm in the middle of it right now, actually. Okay, um... I, all right, do you got a bit more time today before we go boating? I promise it will be fun later, but I need your help with something else. Okay, fair enough. What is it? Sounds important. Yeah, uh, we had a semi truck breakdown during delivery. There's a tow truck there. I sent one of our drivers and they can't get this thing running. And this delivery needs to be made. So do you mind just swinging by? It's just in this random area. Is it so, fully loaded or what situation? Yeah, it's not fully loaded, but it's it's primarily loaded. Like it, everything it's needed to deliver is in there. You just got to bring it from point A to point B. Sounds like the broken down truck is just, yep, there it is, south of my dealership. Place is looking good. This grass spot looks like a good spot to drop the trailer. Perfect. Well, it looks like we got here right in time. The tow truck driver is moving the truck out of the way. And there he goes. Okay, enough room. The truck driver stopped in like a terrible spot too. I know his truck was breaking down. He wants traffic to go by, but it's kind of rough. And I think one reason why boss man bought these trucks is because we do haul in like remote areas and he said I never want one of my trucks to get stuck but the first day of business one already broke down let's get back in here and attached I think we're almost there it's kind of hard oh geez is that boss man we're all attached here what the heck are you doing I just wanted to come check up on you make sure you got this all handled yeah 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 I got it handled tow truck guy pulled the truck forward got it unhooked and I'm hooked up and gonna take off Okay, did he say anything about what's wrong with the truck, or...? Uh, he's in his truck right now doing paperwork, if you want to talk to him. 
Okay, I'll do that. Uh, yeah, just get this thing delivered, man. It's to a local four. farm. I'll send you the address. Move it or lose it, sisters. Move it or lose get it, boss Get out of here, man. This looks kind of weird. Red truck, baby blue trailer. I'm not digging it. All right, we're pulling in. Unfortunately, they might be a little upset. We are 30 minutes late. We try and be on time. There's a lady in the window giving me a thumbs up. Well, we'll just drop it off right here. All right, let's see what they got in here. What the heck? What is this? A shopping cart with an engine on it? This is awesome. This kind of looks like the one I have. This looks like better condition though, that's for sure. All right, let's hurry back. Boss man said something about a boat. Anyway, I'm excited. I want to get out on the water and it's super hot today. Wait a second, is that boss man? Boss man, what the heck are you doing? I'm getting the boat. Oh geez, when you said boat, I didn't know you said bass boat. This is awesome. I didn't really specify, but yeah, man. Nitro Z20. You got the Talon Pat power poles. Those are so nice. Super clean trailer, dual axle, obviously. Minkota trolling motor. I'm excited. Oh, yeah. So here, go drop off that trailer. And actually, here, I'll just pay you now as well. How much money do you think you, you deserve for the work you did today? You tell me and double it. Hmm. <laughs> Doubling it. Okay, you know what? I'll give you a thousand. Here you go. All right, five grand. Thank you very much. Yeah, nope. There's a thousand. Right, Two thousand. Come on, come on, come on. Man, my number was going to be like a hundred, and then I was like, okay, five hundred, and then you like double it. So I was like, okay, a thousand. Now you're saying Two thousand. You just bought a brand new boat. That thing's like eighty grand. And that's why I can't pay you more. All right, fair enough. All right, I'll meet you back there. Let's go bass fishing. Well, today I feel like I'm a trucker, like a literal truck driver. Kind of a little different role today, but we get to go bass fishing, which is awesome. Let me know. Comment below. What do you guys like fish for? Do you guys like to fish for, you know, largemouth bass, crappie bluegill, I guess like uh, trout, stuff like that, walleye. All right, let's pull in. Boss man, don't you think you could have made this a bit wider? Don't you think you could just be a better driver? Oh, I accidentally hit your trailer. That's okay. That's what you get. Yeah, thank you, thank you. I saw you had a flower pot earlier, by the way. Don't think I didn't see that. I literally made fun of you when you built this place, joking that you'd put flowers out front, so I had to get a little payback. Well, you inspired me to do it. All right, fair this enough. This is on you. You inspired me to break them. All right, truck and trailer are dropped off. Let's go bass fishing. I'm just going to sit in the back. Okay, I'll just launch you in the water when driving. This is pretty sweet sitting back here. Is, is this legal? Uh, definitely Boss not. Man, that's a speed bump. Go slow, go slow. So go as fast as possible? Yeah, do it. See if we can get some air over here. This is awesome. This is better than being in the water. Whoa, you still back there? I'm still on. Oh yeah, I was about to fire up the old engine. Is that okay? Uh, no, do not do that. Why not? Because we're not in the water. What do you mean, why not? Well, I could help. It's like a propeller. I could make it go faster. Man, I don't think you know how that works. All right, here we go. This looks great, boss man. Yeah, I'm just gonna back up in here right away. This place is a honey hole. A honey hole? What does that mean? Oh my god, boss man isn't even a real fisher, guys. He's just one of those rich city slickers that goes out, buys a new bass boat. We'll have to make sure to break this in, this boat in for you. All right, we got out of here. Spencer, come back, man. Oh, oh, almost forgot about you, boss man. Almost forgot about me here. Come back, man. I want to drive that thing. I can't show you my fishing secrets. That would be that would be terrible. What do you mean you're fishing? This is my boat. Well, you said I get to go fishing, so I'm going to go fishing. With me? Oh, my. You're so annoying. All right. I can't hear you. It's too far away, man. All right. Let's get the trolling motor out. It is in the ground. Not in the ground, but it's in the water. We're going to start floating a little bit. Cast out here. Bass fishing is one of my favorite things to do when we're leaving boss man on the shore. He gets kind of annoying. How deep do you think I could go in the water? Hey, quiet. I'm fishing. You're scaring away all the fish. See, this is why you don't take boss man fishing. If he was on here on my boat, he'd be throwing stuff off the side. He'd be on his phone. It's just peaceful out here by yourself. That's why it's always good to know somebody who owns a boat. I pulled the trolling motor. We're going to go on a little cruise, see if we can find a better spot. Here we go. Floor it. Oh, we're up on plane already. This is sweet. All right, let's cruise up ahead here. I think there's kind of a shallow spot here that a lot of guys talk about the fish grouping over here and the wind is blowing on my back right now. So that means all the bait fish are gonna get pushed to this shore and the bass should follow them. All right, I'm gonna start casting towards this dead tree. It looks like a great place for some bass to hang out. You can start to see the shallows. I have my talons down in the ground so then we shouldn't get blown around or pushed into the bank. This is so nice. Hey, thanks, boss man, for letting me use your boat, by the way. I forgot to tell you that. So annoying. Why? I'm trying to catch a fish over here. What? In tarnation? You're scared away the fish, boss man. Oh, am I? 
Yeah, you Where are. Where are the fish? Can you show me them? Yeah, they're probably swimming around your truck right now. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. <laughs>